Ladies and gentlemen, I hope everybody is doing well. Today, Liberty Falls cinematic trailer just released and boy, was it a lot and we have so much to cover. If you guys wanna see more content like this, go ahead down in the comment section down below and let me know. And if you guys are feeling so inclined, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and maybe the notification bell for future uploads. Now, the last time we saw Rick Toffin, it was all the way back in Cold War and man, he looked way different than his counterpart back in the Ether storyline where he actually didn't even have any kids. Uh, however, it was a really nice parallel seeing him in the Wonder Waffle back again. You know, he manufactured that back in Doris, but nevertheless, it was really cool to see a picture with him and his family. It was a really, really nice twist to know that he actually had a family. But as it gets revealed to us in this trailer, things did not end up so well. So let's get into some of those details. Now, if we jump forward, we can actually see his son playing what seems to be like imaginary zombies. Now, I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below but my brother and I along with my friends we used to grab our nerf guns go outside all the time and literally do these exact same thing we would act like we're playing custom zombies in real life and oh boy it was just it was so much fun that's a memory that I will always cherish but yeah let me know in the comment section down below if any of you guys have had done that or experienced it with any of your friends or maybe siblings but enough of that my personal opinion this cinematic trailer is it's textbook. Now this scene right here if you pay attention to the left eyebrow of Edward Richtofen you'll see that he's missing that scar that we remember seeing in Cold War. Now, if we jump ahead, we see this beautiful transition right here. Eddie starts grabbing his chest. Now, obviously he's grabbing his chest because of the heartbreak that he feels from losing his family. But on top of that, take a look at how the environment just changes around him. It goes from this warm feeling of, you know, oranges and reds, you know, signifying warmth and, and safety to this really, really cold and blue type of tone you know signifying his sense of loss and if you guys pay attention right up here now he has that scar again this is really important it just showcases how he's being pulled back to reality from this dream and while we're all taking this in we get this lovely scene right here i mean obviously it's not lovely but man it, it hits it hits really differently that's clearly the the image that is etched inside of his brain any any time that he thinks about his family that's the heartbreak that he gets that was exactly the reason why that scene right there was so important this adds a brand new layer to this new Richtofen that we're about to you know know and love and with all of this this is clearly taking a toll and if we take a look here we can see how tired and exhausted he is I mean it just looks like he's a completely different person than what we see before we see his family burn alive anyways I'm gonna let the last two minutes actually play out because these next two minutes are absolutely insane Edward is an absolute badass he's great once again this trailer a plus I love it and I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy it and then we'll talk a little bit right after. Sub-level 10, report. Secure your stuff. I'll have a sad reset. Blanchard, secure the command post. Call in response teams. Get Liberty Falls locked down. Copy? Copy.
Now, following Richtofen and grabbing the Wonder Wolf, which once again, that is just so iconic, we get to see what seems to be different various areas of the map. Now, something I want to point out is, once again, I feel like we're going to be in a zombies map that has some tighter corridors. And if we fast forward a little bit, this almost seems like it's similar to the Dead of the Night staircase. It kind of gives that feel. So I'm wondering if the upstairs portion of the inside of this building is going to be kind of tighter corridors with a nice little training area, a little bit more open space down at the main floor. Now, something else I want to talk about, and once again, I'm just putting an educated guess in here. So this is honestly just, just my opinion and my prediction moving forward. My prediction is that the Easter egg is actually going to involve some sort of steps similar to Gorad Krovi. And if you guys remember that map, we have to get a series of protocols done in order to actually gain access to the boss fight. And I feel like this can be directly correlated to getting some sort of route to get to Samantha. And on top of that, this theory could maybe be backed up. Once again, it's just speculation and this is just my opinion. But if we put a side-by-side -side comparison of Samantha and what Sophia looked like back in Gorad Krovi, they're literally almost the exact same thing. Now, I know this is a little small detail part of this little fight sequence. Once again, this is actually my favorite part of the trailer. And right here, we get to see Richtofen hit the zombie with the bolt and then turn around, use the butt or the stock of the gun to actually kill the zombies. And that shot is just absolutely amazing. Once again, I think they did such an amazing job with this trailer. We get to see this portal appear out of nowhere. It seemingly means that Samantha's grabbing him and is going to be pulling him maybe into the dark ether i don't know but boy i am just so excited once again we're gonna get one final shot of sophia oh, man this this trailer was just great